Balen Skulls hallway scene in the first episode of Ahsoka. Didn't really need to be as good as it was, but it's an amazing bit of cinematography. I noticed so many details on this building that you'll be able to see if I straighten that wall. We do have another angled wall, which just like the Kenobi diorama, I think we only made that about last week, does add a nice bit of detail to the build without it being too complex. But on this wall, we have a few of these panels that stick out. I have reused a sticker from the Tantive boarding. It's still a disappointment that it's not the same color as Lego's white bricks. It's a bit paler than them, as you can see on the camera, but this does slope down and cover all this pipework at the bottom, which I think really looks good. And especially those bars at the bottom. You can't tell them apart from the show. This back wall here behind Balan Skull is a bit plain, but rather than repeating the pattern over here, and I think there was just a few panels at the bottom, I have used the white masonry bricks, which you can see on this side, does leave a nice pattern on the outside. You're not, you're not gonna be seeing the other side. I'm not gonna show you the other side of this because there's so many of them snot bricks with a hole that it will probably freak a few people out. But as for the minifigures, none of these are official Lego minifigures. Balen here is created using, I think it's one of the Imperial torsos. I'll give you a closer look on screen so you can see the exact parts I use because I don't own the set that came with Balen, Shin and Morgan Elsbeth. In fact, they're the only three named characters I'd want from that set and the Ikea droid does look pretty cool, but I managed to part them out on my display. So I'll show them all off on screen. And these new Republic troopers, and made using the Lego, I think that's the Octan logo on their torso, the Lego oil workers, which really works for the figures. And you can see we've got Captain Antilles head and helmet on this one as well. And it's a really cheap way of creating them. If you wanted to go a step further, you can get one of the white hip pieces that I remember coming in one of the A New Hope Storm Trooper sets, but I actually don't have any of them. I thought I did, but I've rummaged through my Lego and I'm pretty sure I don't. But just a utility belt in that nice white for these minifigures. But overall, I think this looks really good. And of course, we're going to be taking a look at that LED lightsaber in the dark in just a moment. But first, enjoy some of these different action shots. You can position the minifigures a little differently and I think the Tantive boarding also works as quite a good base set if you don't want to part out this one. But if you do want instructions for it, let me know. I'll add them to not only the Discord, but also on to Rebrickable so you can build this yourself. It's also worth saying that because I used this very thin power bank here, it's exactly a brick tool, which is really nice. You can slot this under the diorama, which means if you want to keep this and the lightsaber in, the wiring for this lightsaber is hidden very, very well. If I try to angle it so you can get a bit of light in there, you can see that it goes round through the cape, underneath the cape of Balen, and then through two plates there, which there is a gap the whole way through this diorama so that the wire can then come out the bottom and attach to the power bank. But if I turn the lights off and the power bank on in three, two, one, you can see that that orange blade looks really, really cool on camera. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to focus on here because my camera doesn't really like any low light settings, but check out the images on screen that I did take earlier and you can see that it really brings the scene to life. I am a massive fan of these LED lightsabers. And if you want to find out how I got these sabers, check out, I'll leave the video in the end. It was off a stream where I was collecting as many clone legions as I can. And if you want these sabers too, check out Filoni clones. But this isn't the only hallway scene diorama. So let's get the other three down here and take a look at all of them. And as you heard, there is four of these. The first one that I made was this dark trooper attack diorama, which is built using two of the sets, but you could probably get away with one and just order in a few of the extra pieces online. And then the next diorama, I'm not sure if we'll be able to stack these, that might look quite good, is the Tantive boarding, which is a similar set to the Dark Trooper Attack, a lot more detail. 
I think there were quite a few more minifigures as well in it. And then, as I said at the start of the video recently, we have Bill Kenobi's hallway scene from the Kenobi series, which does look quite cool. And then last but not least, we have the start of today's video in Balan's hallway diorama. And it does look like they both balance on top, which is really nice because, as I said, I noticed something with these. The bottom two are both grey buildings and you can see Luke's ends on the left, Kenobi's ends on the right. So we've got a full corridor there. And then we move up to Vader's boarding of the Tantive and Balan's New Republic attack, which both are white corridors. Again, you've got the grey bases to them both, but I think they look really, really cool. And just to light up Balan's saber one more time. You can't see it as well in the light, but I really do like it. I think it's a bit better than Vader's saber here, which is quite gruesome because there's just a few red hands lining up the top. Before you watch your next video, please do head over to the community tab where you can vote for your favorite hallway scene diorama. Last time, I believe the Vader scene one. Remember, you are voting for the diorama and not your favorite hallway scene. But if you do like the Vader diorama, then go over, make sure Vader retains his title. And if you're a fan of one of the others, be sure to make your vote count and try and dethrone the Lord of the Sith. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the video that YouTube thinks will be best for you on screen now. And I'll also leave up the playlist so you can see all my diorama mocks that I've made on this channel. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. May the bricks be with you always.